Well, tensions are boiling over across our northern border. On conservative cable news channels, the protest dominates. The attempts to try and crush down on this protest in Ottawa has made it a rallying cry. Following suit, Republican politicians and even a former president have taken up the cause. We want those great Canadian truckers to know that we are with them all the way. Global interest in the Ottawa protest is being driven by the powerful American right with claims of big tech censorship adding a new layer to their efforts after GoFundMe shut down the truckers' online fundraising campaign. Their corporate communists are stealing money. It, I mean, this is literally theft by deception. It all puts Ottawa at the center of the American culture wars, which may have been the strategy all along when U.S.-based groups took notice in the early days. The scale of the level of donations and the, the international interest too seems to be quite unprecedented. Kieran O'Connor is a researcher in online extremism. He says interest in the Canadian trucker protest and its anti-government, anti-mandate message has since spread worldwide at a phenomenal pace. I was able to find evidence of international support for the original GoFundMe link from groups and communities outside of Canada. Uh, I was able to find evidence of the GoFundMe being shared uh, amongst white supremacist communities on Telegram. And after GoFundMe pulled the plug, an alternative fundraising campaign raised nearly $5 million in just a few days. Many of those donations purport to be from the U.S. Many more are anonymous. We need to be very vigilant about uh, external forces, about foreign interference, uh, and that, uh, that funds which are being collected are not used for inappropriate purposes, which may indeed undermine public safety. Taken with the statements from American elected officials, the former U.S. ambassador to Canada sees reason for serious concern. Well, there's a group now within the Republican Party that sees this differently and is willing to go cross what I consider to be a red line. And that red line is to be promoting disruptive activity in our neighbor, friend, and allies' backyard. Those efforts are no longer limited to supporting the Canadian protests. Efforts to recreate the Ottawa convoy and its disruption are now underway here in Washington, in cities across the U.S., and right around the world. Donna? Jackson Prosco in Washington, thanks.